feeling very out of place here. <laughs> it was really fascinating um, giving evidence in front of the select committee. They were really interested um, in what we had to say and I think it's because it's, it's this whole new world that's developing exponentially and no one really knows where it's going to go. You know, the, this, the dystopias of tomorrow are all talking about where technology will go, not whether it will stop. I'm Megan Grubb and I am a lifestyle influencer. I'm here with Megan and we are at the BBC Sound and Radio 2 studios. <laughs> you are about to do Takeover. takeover. Yeah. BBC One Takeover. Bit nervous. Well actually I'm not too nervous because it's not my face. <laughs> so I don't just a, nice. Just her voice. <laughs> yeah. We're filming the rest of the podcast, we're season filming, one, we? recording. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I was gonna say, this is not very good. You were only five episodes in, and I still say filming. It's so nice that it's such a team project mm. because YouTube is so like personal. It's kind of just you like putting yourself out there. But I love that the wooden spoon. It's like us four, and then we've got our like backstage team, <laughs> and yeah, it's just been yeah. amazing. I think we wanted to make a podcast to inspire like the younger generation um, to also use the medium. And we were just kind of sat there brainstorming in a room and realised that the topic of failure and success was quite relevant to discuss. Social media can be a bit of a highlight reel and make you just see the beautiful edited photos that look wonderful and everyone's smiling and everyone's having the best mm. day ever but it's everyone's best day ever all the time. Um, and so I think it was important for us to talk about sometimes it isn't the best day ever and that's fine too. It can, it can actually be quite dangerous to kind of label something as your biggest failure because that makes it sound like yeah. there is there can be no success in that at all and that's mm -hmm. one, one stigma that we're trying to overcome in the podcast. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so relevant, like everything we talk about is so, it's so relevant to like every day and things we encounter and I think just through discussing it, yeah, it's just shifted my perspective. Just because I'm very aware there might be people listening to this who are at high school or at university and they don't want to take on a certain kind of leadership role, put them forward for something because they don't want to come across as, you know, bossy or that really kind of like extroverted female in the room, um, which by the way, we should all be that female in the room. Yes. Um, but I, like I've 100% been in classroom situations where like people of authority, like teachers have told me that I'm being bossy and that I should probably be quieter or like classmates have told me that and it really affected the way that I prejudge situations and I changed the way I would act and whether I'd put myself forward for something because I didn't, as you were just saying, Ruby, I didn't want to be labelled as kind of like the bossy girl in the room. I, I can't imagine this being the last time mm. that we record. That'd be really sad. Mm. Yeah, so fingers crossed if you guys go and you rate five stars. <laughs> 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 Plug the podcast while you're at it. <laughs>